shameless sellers get swindled over some super rare gems. As Pawn Stars have been encountered by some really luxury items over the past few years, some turned out to be hilariously bad, but some were the amazing deals made by them. However, Pawn Stars didn't miss out on any chance and did their best to fool their customers when they found them confused and ended up dealing with their perspective. Just do not waste your time and let's move ahead to have a know-how about five sellers who have been swindled by the Pawn Stars over some super rare gems. Number 5. A Handcrafted Crown In 2014, a man entered into the pawn shop with a luxurious handcrafted crown made 100 years ago. The crown was made up of pure diamonds. After seeing that masterpiece, Chum Lee and Rick got pretty curious about its authenticity, so they called in an expert who reassured the verissimo of that piece. Seller further added that the crown was first owned by the first former lady of the United States named McKinley. The asking price of that particular crown was $75,000, but Rick somehow managed to buy it for $43,000, and nowadays, it is being displayed in the Presidential Museum. Number 4. A Historic Watch As you all know how Rick Harrison had managed some really big purchases in 2020, and most of the time, things turned out to be in his favor. Rick's one the clients owned the huge Revolutionary War collections around the world. Rick visited in search of any John Hancock memorabilia. For those who don't know, John Hancock is known as a former president of the Continental Congress. The client brought some of the historic belongings to manifest it to Rick, though the asking price of that stuff was $400,000. Nonetheless, Rick's main focus was to buy a watch out of those so he asked only for the watch. Therefore, solely the watch was worth $125,000. So Rick purchased it there and then. Number 3. An Antique Ring In the Western world, the Catholic Church is considered one of the places to find history-related stuff. There's this man who came into the pawn shop with a Roman Catholic ring from the 1800s. He said that the ring was handcrafted by the famous French goldsmith. However, Rick asked him for the price so that seller claimed it to be around $6,000. Rick, without wasting any time, called in an expert who confirmed that it wasn't the cardinal ring. So Rick solely offers him $2,000 only. Unfortunately, the seller accepted the deal for that rare masterpiece and seemed more than happy. Meanwhile, Rick struck a deal at $2,000 and profited himself. Number 2. A 1912 Navy Watch You might get to see different random things at Poker's house. Why? Because they do not only get money in victory, but some really unusual or luxurious stuff. A man came in a pawn shop with a Navy watch and further claimed that his father won it in a poker match. The watch has its significance concerning history regarding the U.S. Naval. Moreover, he added that this watch was never refinished or mounted. Therefore, it is 80% silver contained. So the seller initially asked for $5,000, and Corey cut the price in half and offered $2,500 right away. They both were more than happy at the deal. Number 1. Lucille Ball's Rarest Necklace Apparently, this necklace is not the most impressive jewelry in the hierarchy, but definitely a rare one. It is not exactly about the material of this collectible, but the importance of that ring is in high demand, as it was once owned by the legendary actress who worked in a TV show. The man who came inside the pawn shop with that Lucille Ball's necklace asked for the price of $325 for that piece. The seller also showed the picture of her wearing and also an authentic certificate for its relevancy, though he has almost manifested all the proofs regarding that masterpiece. So Rick accepted the deal at $325, as it did sound more than fine for him. As you are perfectly aware of the fact that Pawn Stars are not only professionals, but they know how exactly to deal with the purchasers or sellers. These five sellers might shock the viewers to some extent, like how they got swindled by the pawnbroker.